In this video, you're going to learn how to set up Google Checkout. First, click on the name of the site you want to work on. Scroll down and select Modules. Select the e-commerce module. Scroll down and select Payment Settings. Uncheck any payment settings you're not going to use and check Google Checkout. And then select Settings. To accept payments using Google Checkout, you need to sign up for a Google Checkout seller account. Please visit this link for more details. To use Sandbox mode, you need a Sandbox account. Please visit this link for further details. Below you'll see the important steps you need to follow to create this account correctly. Sign in, click on the Settings tab, click on Integration link, enter the following URL, choose a notification as an XML callback method, choose the right version, and press the Save button. Below you'll find some very important notes for using Google Checkout. You may want to let your buyers know in advance that they cannot use their virtual wallets when using Google Checkout. Please read the notes below very carefully. As with the other checkout options, you can give this a custom label as well. Just check the box. These are your usage limitations. It allows you to check which countries this is available for. These are your general settings. This is where you would put in your merchant ID, your merchant key. You would check the box if you want to use Sandbox. Check this box if you want to automatically charge new customers. This drop-down displays what they will see after an item is shipped. This box asks the buyer for their phone number. Checking this box ensures you'll receive the order notification. This allows you to select which categories this is not available for. Scroll up, select which ones, and select Apply. This allows you to check off which shipping services you're going to use with Google Checkout. This is the Payment Instructions box. Enter your special instructions here. This is the text they see when they're about to complete payment. Scroll down when you're done and click Save. 